Ford in Queensland. It's pace, basically takes in the Logan City Council south of Brisbane down to some areas in the Gold Coast City Council as well. It's very marginal seat, 0.6% held by Bert Van Manen in that area. But Des Hardman is seen as a real chance here for Labor. In fact, probably their best chance uh, in Queensland. Uh, as you can see, that margin, very narrow. But also in south-east Queensland, there's a, a much uh, more optimistic mood, I think, in terms of Labor's prospects there, as opposed to central and north Queensland, where the Adani mine issue has been a uh, depressing um, impact on their vote. Let's go live to Anna Rawlings, who joins us from the seat of Ford. Anna, give us an update. What are you uh, sensing on the ground there this morning? Well, it certainly is going to come down to the wire here. Latest polls are showing that the votes between Bert Van Manen and Des Hardman so far are split 50-50, so really it's going to be a handful of votes or minor party preferences that decide who is going to hold the seat of Ford. Now, it did actually miss out, though, on a crucial part of Labor's campaign. Bill Shorten was supposed to finish his campaign here and make an appearance yesterday. Of course, he didn't make it due to the death of Bob Hawke. So who we have seen here, though, already, as well as the voters, is the LNP incumbent Bert Van Manen. He cast his vote as soon as booths opened. He said he's feeling quietly confident but he has acknowledged, has acknowledged it will be a tight race against Labor's Des Hardman. Both major parties have poured resources and funding promises into big ticket items here for constituents such as the Logan Hospital and the M1. Now what's also interesting about this seat is that according to other polls the constituents here are among the least interested in politics in the country. Just 7% are interested in politics, but politics are certainly interested in them. This is a bellwether seat, and as I said before, polls are showing it is going to come down to just a few thousand votes to decide who gets the seat of Ford with this 0.6% margin.